Hello guys, time for another demo project from me and my team. As usual, I was browsing through Upwork for simple projects that we can create, put the code on GitHub, and then shoot a video explaining the parts of the code. And as a part of that, we generated the beginning of that project with our Quick Admin Panel. So you can consider this video as an advertisement for Quick Admin Panel, but at the same time, in this video, I will explain the actual code, which was written after Quick Admin Panel, custom code, so it's still a learning tutorial. The project description is really vague. Website for moving business. Customers should be able to create accounts and pay for the movings and no WordPress. And we've simplified that even more. Must know Laravel and Vue.js, so this demo won't be Vue.js. It's more simplified, just Laravel, but with payment gateway, Stripe connected. And for simplicity, we don't do internal teams, so there will be only two users, customer and administrator. So in this video, you will learn such things as how to customize the registration form, so add more fields, how to send a notification to administrator whenever someone registers, here's on my mail trap, and how to charge one-time payment with Stripe. And this video will consist of three parts. First, I will show you how it works, then I will show you how to generate part of it, first part with Quick Admin Panel, and then we dive into GitHub and PHP Storm to comment on the code which was added afterwards. And all the repository will be available as usual for free on GitHub. So let's begin. So first, let me show you how it works. There is a landing page. It should be probably with a different design of moving company with logos and stuff like that. But as a default design, we chose Laravel default page. And then there's a button order moving now. And here we see a registration form, but with extra fields. So on the bottom you have Laravel registration form, so default things, and then everything else is additional. Let's fill that in with fake filler Chrome extension. Let's choose moving date, some description, and let's register. Then what happens? I'm logged in as a user now, and I can see my movings. And every moving has some data, but for now without price and without paid. I can take a look but for now I cannot pay. Meanwhile, the admin gets an email. Here's in my mail trap, edit a moving. So someone kind of ordered a moving and you need to assign a price. So let's open that in incognito window so I would be able to log in as administrator, which is admin admin com and password is password, default by our quick admin panel. And after login, I can assign the price. For example, the price is one, two, three. It could be dollars, it could be anything. It's just a number in the database. And I click Save. Then what happens? Another email is sent. So administrator in his table sees all the list of movings with price assigned. And if we go back to mail trap, there should be another email. Price of a moving has been set. And this is sent to the user himself. Here's your price and then pay now. If you click pay now, if you're logged in, if not, you are redirected to login form and then you can pay. So here's where Stripe form comes in. I can pay as Pogolas, I can put in testing card numbers. And I can pay. And as you can see, the moving has been paid successfully. Paid ad is set, and in my table I should see paid ad, which basically means the order is confirmed and you paid for it, and then administrator should take over to discuss details. There is another notification to admin that moving has been paid, and if you want to see moving, you can also click. So this is how it works. Now, how to generate part of it with our quick admin panel and what custom code we added afterwards. Let's start a new Quick Admin Panel project and it will generate the core of our project. Database, roles and permissions, registration and some more stuff. So panel name, let's call it Movings. We choose a theme Core UI 3, some more details may be involved. And by default we have users with two roles, administrator and simple user, and that's exactly what we need, so we don't need to change anything there. Now we need to create one menu item, one CRUD, which is Movings. After that, we will install two more modules. Registration, which is not enabled by default because admin panel is for administrators only by default unless you install the registration. And also there is a module called change notifications. So whenever some record is changed or inserted or deleted, you may notify administrator, which is exactly what we need in this case of new moving. But first, CRUD menu item, movings. Movings. And what fields do we need? First, who ordered it? So, belongs to the users. Belongs to relationship. 
user and we choose the model users which is installed by default and that's it you don't need to specify anything else then we have moving to and moving from moving from as a string required and then moving to also required then moving date date picker moving date also required then maybe some notes which may be optional but text area notes optional then price and for price we have a separate money field price optional because it's not set by default and then we have paid ad which is date time picker paid ad also optional it will be set when stripe is triggered and payment has been made so we save and we save the crud and then as i told you we need to install a few more modules so module registration which is here we have a few more settings but in this case we don't need any of those we install that and then another one is change notifications this one email your admin when crude has entries updated and deleted so we install that module and then we need to specify what notification we need to send on which crud so we have change notifications a new menu item and we generate that notification so on movings created email the admin and that's it the code has been generated and from here we can download the code launch it locally and continue with custom coding and i will show you the actual commits on github instead of php storm so you will see exactly what has been changed one by one so first welcome page landing page this one with default laravel design and it actually is included in the downloaded repository welcome blade is included all you need to do to change from quick admin panel is remove default redirect to login form and instead of that just view welcome and on the top of that welcome blade the register link which was already present just was renamed to order moving now and here we have this link next part is customization of this registration page so adding those fields on top and in this case in our quick admin panel we don't use any new laravel 8 stuff we don't use fortify we don't use jetstream we generate the same alt auth logic as it was laravel 7 and before because in my personal opinion it's easier to understand to everyone working with laravel so if we take a look at the code we have register blade changed with new fields so nothing really fancy here a field errors for validation for moving date we have a class date and we enable date picker for it and then on the back end we specify movings as has many relationship and in registration in register controller in fact we make changes to the validator so we add more rules with those fields keep in mind you can change date format in our quick admin panel and it's generated in the config then and then an actual create function of the user we not only create the user but also create the movings the one moving with has many relationship next commit is about tweaking the notification emails and this time i will show you in the php storm so you would understand the whole sequence and logic so in the moving model we have observer moving action observer and in that observer we observe for two events when the record is created then we query the users and send notification to all of them and also updating so in this case we check if the price has been changed which means administrator changed it we send notification to model user which is the order author and we send price change notification if paid ad has been changed which means the payment has been made then we send to all the administrators notification that moving paid notification has been fired and inside of that notification for example data change email notification is a general notification for any type of change but we edited that actually it's good to show on github here it is so the change is instead of default action to like go to laravel the action is to edit a uh, moving and the link is to edit of that model it allows us to send any notification to any model because everything is a parameter so model name is a parameter and edit link is a parameter so we can reuse that data change notification and other notifications were created like new notification so price change notification and also i will show you the moving paid notification 
which is really simple. The link is to see moving for a user and that's moving show, not edit. Because customers cannot edit the order, they can only view and pay for it. Now the payment form. This one is a bit more complicated so I will try to explain it step by step. So this one. If we take a look at GitHub, of course we're using official Laravel cashier for that, but when we enable cashier we ignore the migrations and instead we create that locally copying and pasting all the cashier migrations locally in our migration set in order to avoid conflicts because the project is already underway and cashier is installed not in the very beginning. So personally, I feel more calm if the migrations come from my migrations instead of vendor. So we add everything that cashier needs and then in the blade, we add a form. Post form to admin moving pay to a specific route, post request to the route. And this form goes from Stripe elements from the official documentation of Stripe. And also some more code comes to section styles and section scripts to use Laravel, or in fact not Laravel, Stripe official JavaScript. And we also need the Stripe key and Stripe secret. So it's up, if we scroll up. In .env.example, we add two variables. And this is pretty important when you work in a team. So if you add variables to .env.example, then your teammates who will pull the changes will understand that those variables are needed in .env file. And then in the movings controller, we need to process the payment. So for the show form, we need to create a payment intent. This is quite important. Again, Stripe thing. And then the pay, which is that post route. We just use cashier functions on user model. So we have moving, the user is the author, so it will get a payment method created and charge that. Then we do moving update, and remember this fires the notification email here in Observer. If we scroll down, there are some validation rules, and also in the user model we need to provide that it's billable. And two more small commits, small things. So users moving should be available only to that user. It's kind of a multi-tenancy system, so I cannot view other users movings. And to do that, we will add moving scope trait to the model of movings. And that trait, inside of that trait, we will check. If it's not an admin, then add a global scope that movings should be queried by user ID with the logged in user, which means any query you run with query builder, it will add the condition that user ID should be auth ID. So even if you guess the ID of other user, you won't be able to access it. So that's one small fix, and then we need to change permission seeder. We have a permission seeder in our row permission system in Quick Admin Panel. So by default, we allow simple user to access everything except for user management. But in this case, we also need to disallow moving create, moving edit, and moving delete. So every CRUD has five permissions in our system. So access it, then create, edit, delete, and show. And in this case, we only need to allow access, which means they see menu item and show method, which means they can view and pay for it. So we need to change that seeder. And a final, final thing, it's a better and more recommended way to use try catch with payments because anything could go wrong with payments. It's the most tricky part of the whole application. So if anything goes wrong, we redirect back with errors and that error comes directly from Stripe. So probably user would see something like your card is declined or not enough funds or something like that. So whatever Stripe returns, we pass that as viewable error message. And that's it. The code is available on GitHub. You can check it out. You can modify it. If you have any questions, ask here or directly on the repository, maybe raise an issue. Of course, it's a simplified project, but it's a way to demonstrate both our quick admin panel, also the way how our team thinks about projects, so in what way, in what order we commit the changes. So I think it is useful, these videos, instead of live coding, I would live code it for like three or four hours. No one would watch that, actually. I explained the main parts in, what, 20 or 30 minutes and gave the code to you for further analyzing. And of course, I won't hide, this video was an advertisement for our Quick Admin Panel, so if you want to generate the core code quicker, use quickadminpanel.com. And if you have any ideas for demo projects like this one, instead of me browsing Upwork for ideas, shoot in the comments or email me directly, pavelas.laravaldaily.com, and see you guys in other videos.